What is up YouTube, XX Solutions here and today I'm bringing you an Android tutorial and this is on how to remotely access your Windows PC from your Android device. This is something a little bit different from normal but I thought I'd make this video as it's quite helpful and very useful. I just thought I'd let you guys know also this does not require root on your device so you can be on stock Android, um, you know, not have any ROMs installed or anything like that and it can work perfectly fine as well. So without further ado, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead on the Play Store and search for RDP. It should be at the very top of the list along with some others like Chrome Remote Desktop, Remote To Go, Parallels uh, and even TeamViewer there. But for me it pops up as the most favorited RDP app on the Play Store. So as you can see I've already installed it but what you want to do is obviously install this device. It shouldn't take no longer than two minutes over Wi-Fi. As you can see there are one million downloads on this application and it has a lot of positive feedback. So they do release updates quite frequently and it just fixes you know minor bugs here and there as you can see um, they fixed connection failures when the gateway RAP did not specify IP addresses whatever the hell that means um, but yeah you get the idea the last update was June 13th so yeah it was one month ago so I do recommend this app indeed so once you've installed this app you can go ahead and open it but we won't be able to use it straight away as there is a few things that we're going to need on the computer side of things so over on the PC there is a few things that we need to do it's not that hard and you need to do this as it will not work and it requires port forwarding so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a command prompt I'm just going to run mine as administrator and type in ipconfig once done that you want to find your wired or wireless adapter and you'll find your default gateway address this can vary mine ends in 0.1 as you can see so it's 192.168.0.1 but you can have this as 10.0.0.1 or something along those lines so just look for your default gateway address like so. Once you know what your default gateway address is, open up your web browser of your choice and type it in your URL bar. Now I am using a router called the Superhub2 and it may look very very different to the one that you're using unless you're with Virgin Media and you're using the exact same router as I am. But it should be in the advanced settings and you want to look for something called port forwarding or port forwarding and triggering or something like that. It shouldn't be too hard to find as it's quite easy and every router has this option. So once we're in here it's pretty simple you just give it a name so I'm going to call it RDP and the port number that we're going to be port forwarding is 3389 for the start port and 3389 for the end port. Now for the IP address you can go back into the command prompt window and find your local IPv4 address so mine ends in 0.9 so 192.168.0.9. Now this can vary again so every device connected to your network will have a different local IP address so my laptop will be 10, my main PC will be 9, my Android device my 3, every device has a different local IP address so as you can see here mine is 9 so I'm going to put 9 and add the rule. Hit apply, hit yes and that is that. So once we have that out of the way we can go ahead and open the application again on your device and you have two options. One is to locally connect to a device on your network so by using your IPv4 address like I showed you in the command prompt window or by using your public IP address and that basically uses the port that you just forwarded so you can connect to it over you know Wi-Fi and 4G when you're out and about. So I do suggest this as it's pretty cool so if you're out and about and you want to check on your computer and you've left it on um, and the screen's locked well with the application it basically unlocks it without you having to press the password and type it in and all that jazz. I'm going to show you that method so all you want to do is hit the plus sign and click on desktop and it will ask you for your PC name so all this is is it's your public IP address so all you want to do on your computer or your Android device is basically just Google the word IP and in Google it should say your public IP address and in the host name or IP address bar just type that in. So once you have done that all you want to do is hit save and you'll see a thumbnail screen like so so all you want to do is hit on it and as you can see it goes to landscape mode and says initiating remote connection. So there you have it guys your IP address is at the top of your screen you can pinch to zoom in like so it's very very responsive you can see your mouse cursor you can choose not to have your mouse cursor it all depends on your settings 
settings. If you hit the keyboard button, you have the Windows key, Shift, Control, Alt, and some other options there as well. So this is very, very handy. I am using this on my laptop currently. So as you can see, if I double click the mouse screen, um, that double clicks there. And it's very, very useful um, if you just want to monitor stuff on your PC when you're out and about as well. And as you can see, I'm hovering over stuff and there is, you know, milliseconds of delay, but it's not a major, major issue. Obviously, this is connecting over Wi-Fi or 4G. So I thought this was quite useful, guys, and not a lot of people know how to do this. You can use TeamViewer, but this is just another option on how to do this. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope I've helped you guys out. Be sure to comment below if you do need any questions or message me on Skype and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.